this is a very interesting uh, algebra, uh, geometry question. Okay, so we are asked to find the area of this trapezium. First of all, this is not drawn to scale, please. And please see how we are going to get the, uh, the value of the area. First of all, this is a trapezium, all right? And the area of a trapezium is half AB plus CD. times the height. Now, A, B, and C, D are the parallel sides of the trapezium, okay? Then the height, we, are, we don't know the value of the height. Now, if you look at this particular video, this particular diagram, you will notice that A, B is given as 25, C, D is given as 10, but height is not given, meaning that the only thing that is Preventing us from getting the area of this trapezium is the height. So how do we get the height? We go ahead and do that. It's actually very easy. First, let's bring out the height, okay? So from here to here is the height. Please manage the drawing. And because they are heights, this is the height. So this will make 90 degrees with this horizontal line. All right. Now, let's call this place. We have A, B, C, D. Let's call here E. Let's call here F, okay? Now, let's call A, E, X, right? Let's just call it X. And let's call our height H as well. Now, remember that this should be equal to this, right? They are parallel, and this is parallel to this as well. So it means that C, D, E, F is a rectangle. So because it's a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So if C, E is H, D, E, D, F is H as well. If C, D is 10, EF is 10 as well. Now we need to get uh, FB. That is the length FB. We already told that A to B is 25. So to get FB is easy. Yes. Because X plus 10 plus FB should give us 25. Since we are looking for the value of FB, let's transfer everything to the other side. X will cross to become minus X, plus 10 will cross to become minus 10. So we have FB is 25 minus 10 is 15 minus X. So we have FB as 15 minus X. Interesting, right? Okay. Now, we go ahead and find our H. So let's find, look at this. This is a right angle triangle. And because ACE is a right angle triangle, we can find our X or H using the Pythagorean theorem. So in triangle ACE, remember that the hypotenuse squared should be equal to AE squared plus the other side squared, which is H squared. Now we are going to call this equation 1. Okay? Similarly, in triangle D, F, B, in triangle D, F, B, 14 squared will be equal to H squared plus 15 minus X squared. Please hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing us, 
give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much i appreciate tuning at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace okay thank you now let's continue so we have 14 squared but before that remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so 14 squared is 196 right let me confirm using a math trick 4 squared is 16 1 squared is 1 1 times 4 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 0 8 so we add 691 yes 196 if you want to see more of this math tricks check a playlist i have a playlist on this channel just for matrix okay just go there you are going to learn a lot so what 14 squared is 196 is equal to h squared now let's open this bracket plus so 15 squared minus 2 multiplied by 15 multiplied by x plus x squared so we have 196 is equal to h squared plus, now 15 squared is 225, right? 225 minus 30x plus x squared. Okay, so we can rearrange this as 196 is equal to h squared plus x squared plus 225 minus 30x all right so 196 is equal to h squared plus x squared is something you can see it x squared plus h squared is 13 squared so we have 13 squared plus 225 minus 30x so we have 196 is equal to, now 13 squared is 169, right? 169 plus 225 minus 30x. All right. Now we have 196 is equal to 169 plus 225. 169 plus 225. This will give us 14 carry 1 plus this is 9. So we have 394. Okay, I hope I'm correct. This is 14 carry 1. This is 9. This is 3. Yeah, so we have 394. So at this point, my video caught and I did not even know. I was just solving. Now let's continue. I think it caught at where we added this to this, right? So we have 196 is 9 plus 5 is 14, carry 1. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 394 minus 30x. Okay? So to get the value of x, we need to have 30x one side. So to do that, we bring this 30x to this side and take this one to this side. So we are then going to have 30x is 394 minus 196. Okay. All right. Now, 30x will be equal to 14 minus 6 We give us 8, right? 18 minus 9 we give us 9. And 2 minus 1 we give us 1. So you need to get x. So let's divide both sides by 30. So you are going to have x is 198 divided by 30. Okay, so if we do that, we will have x is, now, when 3 divides this, you'll have 10. When 3 divides 19, you'll have 6, 6 remain, um, 
remainder one right divide 18 you have six so if two should divide this we have five two divide this we have 33 so you have 33 over five as the value of x very important why are we even looking for that now remember our equation one according to equation one we have 13 squared is equal to x squared plus h squared okay so you are going to substitute this x into this first equation so i'm going to clean this right now leaving only x we are close to our solution yes we are very very close to our solution now according to equation one we have 13 squared is equal to x squared which is what 33 over 5 squared plus h squared okay all right now we have 13 squared minus because this we cross become 33 over 5 squared is equal to h squared yeah now can we solve this yes we can the lcm of one and five is still five right or instead of doing this this way why not do 13 squared okay let's open this bracket first i think i'm doing this wrongly so we have 13 squared minus this will be 33 squared divided by 5 squared. Yes, I suppose to open that bracket, bracket first, before I start subtraction using board mass or PEMDAS. Yeah, is equal to h squared. So we have 13 squared minus 33 squared divided by 25 is equal to h squared. Now, because this is going to be a large number, Okay, I don't want to open, I don't want to do the three square. I want to leave it like this. So at this point, I am now, I can now solve my, this thing. So this is over one. All right. Now the LCM of one and 25 is 25. So the LCM is 25. When one divides 25 is 25. So we have 13 squared multiplied by 25. minus when this device 25 we have one one times the three is the three squared is equal to h squared i'm trying to find a way i don't really want to do this thing open these not big numbers okay so i think i should just leave my 25 as five squared see what i'm trying to do so let's leave it as five squared now remember that a squared multiplied by b squared is equal to a b squared okay all right so that means that we have 13 times 5 which will give us um 5 times 3 15 5 times 1 5 plus 1 6 so we have 65 13 times 5 raised to the power of 2 okay minus 33 squared divided by 25 is equal to h squared so 13 times 5 is what we got as 65 right so 65 squared minus 33 squared divided by 25 is equal to h squared now um this is difference of two squares this is why i don't want to open the brackets let's give me a lot of work and i don't have calculator okay so we have 65 squared minus 33 squared can be solved as 65 minus 33 multiplied by 65 plus 33 using difference of two squares okay now divided by 25 is equal to h squared Remember that we want to get the value of H. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, 65 minus 33. 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. So, we have 32. 
multiplied by 5 plus 3 is 8, 6 plus 3 is 9. Ah, another big number. Divided by 25 is equal to h squared. At this point, we don't have option. Let's solve 32 times 98, okay? So 98 times 32, 2 times 8, 16, 2 times 9, 18 plus 119, 3 times 8, 24, 3 times 9, 27 plus 2, 29. So we have 6, we have 3, carry 1, 11, carry 1. So we have 3, 1, 3, 6. And I believe this should be a perfect square. Yes. So we have 3, 1, 3, 6. 3, 1, 3, 6 divided by 25 is equal to h squared. Okay. Now, 3136 divided by 25. We are going to leave it. This is a square. And I believe this is also a perfect square. Okay. Now, to get the value of h, we take square root of both sides. So, our h will be the square root of 3136 divided by 25. So, our h will be equal to square root of 3136 divided by square root of 25. So our h will be, now we are going to do this using one of my math tricks. So I need a number that ends with 6. What number will I spray to get a number that ends with 6? So I'm trying to find this without calculator. And the two numbers are, we have um, 4 squared is 16. And 6 squared is 36. Both of them ends with 6. So I'm going to write 4 and 6. So it simply means that my answer will end with either 4 or 6. Yes. But don't bother. We are going to find that letter in a very short time. Now we cancel the last two digits. Now we have 31. Okay. What number squared will give us a number that is close to 31 but no more than 31. And that is 5. Because 5 squared is 25. But 6 squared is 36, which is more. In fact, you may not understand what I'm doing. Just look out for my math tricks, the playlist, and then you are going to get it from there. So 5 squared is 25, which is close to 31, but not more than 21. So it means the answer is 54 or 56. So how do we know whether it is 54 or 56? It's actually easy. After 5, that is after 5, we have 6. And 5 times 6 is 30, right? So we compare this and this. Since 31 is larger than 30, we go for a larger number. So it means that 3136, square root of it is 56. Divided by... Now, square root of 25 is 5. Yes. So this is our H. Now, remember that the area of this trapezium is half AB, which is 25, plus CD, which is 10, times height, which is 56 over 5. So area is, I want to be faster, this is 35 divided by 2 times 56 divided by 5, right? This is 35, yeah. So area will be, 5 divided this, we give us 7. 2 divided this, we have 28, okay? So the area will be 28 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56, okay? 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 19. So we have 196 units. And that is the answer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.